The enemy wants to distract us, but the Lord wants to attract us. And how many times have we been distracted from that which we should be attracted to because someone's come in and started running their mouth? And when we find ourselves in this place of standing up, what we're doing is we're leaving the table of relationship and we're entering into a fight that is not ours in the first place. And guys, what we're entering into right now is we're entering into this place. He wants us to feast and not fight. But you know, this is what I love about Psalm 23. It says, he prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. My enemies can see the goodness that God's doing. And they don't want a bit of it. But they want to distract me from that. But then it goes on and says, you anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. What is that anointing head? That's called identity. You see, when you don't know who you are, he tells you. And then he says, the cup runs over. And this is the key to understand about the table. How many people have been to a, like a Jewish Sabbath or a Jewish um, Passover meal? I instruct you. I, yeah, I beseech you, brethren, before the mercies of God. Take a shot glass with you in case you haven't gone. Because they have seven glasses of wine. You have to, every time there's a part, you've got to knock back. <laughs> and I'm like, I can't do this. So every time after that, I just took a little shot glass. I said, fill that, because I can do seven shots, but I can't do them seven glasses. And they're not little glasses, they're like this big. It's like the bowls of the Lord. <laughs> and one day, I'm, I'm at this, this, Jewish, um, this Jewish Passover meal, and all of a sudden, I'm thinking after the sixth glass, I need, I need to use the, uh, the proverbial. And um, I went to get up. And all of a sudden, again, I had this on my shoulder and sat me down. I'm like, you know when you use sign language? And the guy's like, what? I said, don't interrupt the sort of solemnness of what's happening. And he's like, what? I said, I need to use the bathroom. He said, well, you can't leave. I said, what? He said, you can't leave. I said, but I need to leave. He said, you can't leave because your glass isn't empty. <laughs> you know, it's a custom that you can't leave the table until you finished your glass. You are prohibited from leaving the table if your glass isn't empty. What does it say in Psalm 23? My cup runs over. You can't leave the table. You can't leave the table. Whew, who felt the anointing then? You can't leave the table. And that's how he keeps us at the table. He doesn't keep us through law. He keeps us through love. He doesn't keep us from lack. He keeps us through abundance. You see, God never instructs you. God never has you do something out of lack. He doesn't do it to punish you. He does it to prosper you. You've got to stay at the table, but I'm not going to keep you at the table through punishment. I'm going to keep, it, keep you at the table through prosperity. Your cup is going to overflow. And so this is the visitation he wants to bring us into, that we're not fighting, we're feasting. And we're feasting in this visitation that we're not fighting for impartation. We're not fighting for, a, for an anointing. We're not fighting, we are receiving one. John chapter 1, for as many as perceived him, he gave them the power. Sorry, he didn't. For as many as achieved for him. No, it doesn't say that. What does it say? For as many as received. Yes. 